In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the articulator to cut a tooth library to use for these crowns and veneers. So before we make crowns or veneers, it's always good to do the stage in the beginning and not at the end. I'll show you how I'm going to deal with this. So here we've got an upper and a lower model, and we're going to bring in some teeth. If you have your own tooth library, you can bring them in as well by using file import STO and then move your teeth to the wax up collection. Here I've used the generic teeth, which then appear on the top. I'm going to click on choose teeth and then select the ones we need. So we're looking from the um, premolar over here, all of those teeth extending towards the second premolar over here. Delete the unwanted and place these teeth. Now, these teeth may not go exactly where they should be, but um, if the models are in the correct uh, orientation, they should be pretty close as you see over here. So what I want to do is I just want to make sure I move them into the correct location. I'm going to select the top model, click on H to hide it. Then I'm going to look at it from the top and in the wax up module, we can select all teeth by clicking on that button. So here, maybe they are a little bit big. I'm going to use the S key to scale them down a bit. And we are actually very close to where we need to be. So this is not always the case though. I'll just close up the diastema over here and over here as well and move this tooth forward. Okay, I'm going to look at it from the side and shift the, all of the teeth, select all. We may need to rotate them a little bit as well. So that wasn't hard work. Um, sometimes it is more work and um, that all depends. Alt H to unhide. And I'll just briefly have a look at how they are occluding. I can see that over here. I can see on the inside as well that um, these are all intersecting. Um, here we have zero intersections. It is good just to move them up and make sure that we've got a little bit coming through so that we can grind them off. Other than that, I think it's looking quite good. And I will probably proceed in grinding those teeth down. So we're going to be using Alt-H to unhide. This is my upper model, name upper, articulator setup. And this is my lower model, name lower and import the condyles. Now, after you've done this, we will see that it has been animated. The teeth, though, will not be animated, so just watch. As I go on the lower side, it is clear that the tooth library is not animated. Okay, now select all of your teeth. And then we're going to link those to the animation. So this is very easy and straightforward. Our videos actually show you how to do this. So this button here, link objects to animation. If I do this now, they've been parented. Not to the model, there's actually a little um, cube here, which it's been parented to. So next step is we want to adjust this. So go back to the open and then go to the constraints. To close these um, folders, just hover over the top bar, hold down the control key on the keyboard and left click. This will close it all down. Now that they've been linked up, we can reset these. So first of all, I'm going to go um, edit protrusive. So here we go. Um, I'm going to have a look at it from the side because it's quite important to do that. These keys allow you to Put it back into 
and retrude it and you'll see how these condyles are going to move back at the same time. Look, can you see? So basically my, my aim here is to get them to intersect and then I'm going to open it up slightly as well using the down arrow key. So here we've got a, a little bit of an intersection happening. Then simply click on apply keyframe. When we view the protrusive, we should be able to see the protrusive. Okay, next chapter, we're going to go to the excursive. And we're going to set this jaw again, use these buttons over here. So this one here will put the one condyle back into position where this one stays put. Okay, we've got a slight Bennett movement of minus one to the left hand side. Then we're going to close this up a little bit. Basically, I want to get this to intersect over here like that. Try and get this correct green goes for the green menu. Okay, so from here, we're going to apply the keyframe. And this means that we can now view the right hand side like that. Go and edit the other side. And we're going to put the jaw back a little bit and close it up a little bit. Something to that effect. Okay, apply the keyframe. Now this has completely set this animation up. So we can actually view the, if we click play. There you go. Now, how do we trim these teeth down? Okay, click on the centric to stop the animation from moving. Now, go to the cutting tools. The upper model is going to be the object making the cut. Please observe the upper tools and then click on object making the cut. This will present you with a small offset. The default value of the offset is 0 0.1, which is 100 microns airway gap clearance. If your crowns are too high or too low, that's where you would adjust it. Those teeth will be the objects being cut. Note that they will turn green in color. It just signifies that those are the teeth you're working on. So hit the cut all movements. The transparent upper model that you see is going to cut through each and every tooth. It'll iterate through each individually and perform 13 or 14 Boolean cuts. So please be patient while it's doing its work. And voila, they've all been trimmed. I'm very happy with the result. Finally, uh, you can stop the animation or view the animation if you want to. It's always amazing how it has been trimmed according to the conjular movements in all directions. Finally, I'm going to navigate to the button to delete the condyles and animation and delete your cutter. So this has totally been completed and this would be the starting point to making your crowns. I can smooth these teeth down before I start, but there's no need because we can do this during the crown making procedure. Hope you liked it and if there's any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Bye.